What's up everybody, Raul Sax Creo here with another video. Today it's gonna be a little bit different, but you know, if you watch my YouTube channel, I'm like all over the place. There's nothing in there that's a category that my YouTube channel stays on. It's always different. I'm like bouncing around walls, always doing different things. I cannot stay still. But stay tuned and I'm gonna show you guys what this video is about. I'll give you a little hint. It has to do with yard maintenance because if you like to take care of your yard, you like to have a nice house for your family, you need good equipment to dominate. So if you want to dominate the yard and you want to be all over the place with your grass and just be cutting it and making it green and just the greenest grass on the block, you got to take care of it. So let me show you what I got, why I got it and who I chose to get it from. Stay tuned. Okay, now I'm back. Don't mind the house. The house is currently being worked on. I'm redoing everything on the house. I'll save that for another video. But for now, let's get to the equipment. Let me show you what I was using first, okay? Okay, so don't mind the shadows for me. You see, holding the camera for the mess. But this is the weeder I have. It's a Toro. Sorry, it's the Toro 25cc uh, weeder. Um, this has had a good run, but yeah, just like with anything, you know, when you upgrade one thing, you just go all out. It's like a candy store, but let's head to the next thing. Now, I got this here, the Ergo, if I'm saying it right, which I'm probably not. Um, this is the 56 volt electric blower, good blower. Um, does a job but sometimes it runs out of juice especially when you know leaves are falling you got to clean stuff up in the front yard head to the backyard you know blow the fertilizer to grass from sidewalk you know casual maintenance chores stuff like that um, I am upgrading this but um, I don't have the upgrade yet here um, I still need to get it it's a 2019 model of something awesome um, but I don't have something here to show you that I'm replacing this with. But right here is the lawnmower. This has had a good run. So if you see here, it's a 190cc Craftsman Briggs and Stratton Platinum. Um, this seems powerful. I mean, I was maintaining this lawnmower by myself. Uh, it's had a good run. It's, you know, I mean, it's going out. It's it's pretty much checking the crap. And I'm not gonna get into details of what's going on with this thing, but all I can say is this thing has got me from dirt all the way up to my beautiful green grass. And it's cut everything and anything and it's taken care of my lawn. It's made it look beautiful. I mean, of course, you got to sharpen the blades. But, I mean, it's got a good run. Um, I, I didn't expect it to last this long. I mean, they make okay lawnmowers, but for the job it's doing and how much I do cut my lawn weekly, it needed to be upgraded. I mean, but it's, it, I've had it for years. I mean I mean years so it's time to replace it but I will tell you it had a good measuring system so I had one two three four five six seven eight um, side discharge here for you know mulching as the rear bag here and that you can put here uh, adjustable but you know I'm not giving a review on this lawnmower I'm gonna show you everything I replaced it with so let's let's get to it Okay, I'm gonna skip a step here. Before I show the equipment, I wanna explain, actually, I wanna tell you guys who I chose to get my equipment from, okay? So, I chose to go with Allen's Lawnmower. They do equipment, service, parts. They are located on Firestone Boulevard. Okay, so now, the reason why I chose to shop from a store is because 
I'm in the service department field where customer service is everything. Now, one thing that bothers me is when someone goes and buys something online and it's equipment or something and they get it for really cheap. Now, everybody's trying to save a buck, but you gotta remember, those people are selling those items for cheap because one, they buy it by bulk and two, they don't ever have to see you. I mean, you can call them and say, I have trouble, can I submit a warranty or something? But I mean, you're not gonna go in their store because they're probably not in the area. And if they are in the area, then hey, if you go to the store, it's a plus. But most of the time, they're not in the area, they give it for dirt cheap, and they never have to see you. I mean, who knows, maybe they don't even answer the calls. So I chose to go to a store because one, you got, you know, interaction with human beings and you can ask multiple questions. You're, you know, face to face and you're going to get answers right then and there. You're going to get an attitude from them. And I'll tell you one thing. When I went to Allen's, not knowing that I was actually going to go there because I had a couple of places in mind, but after reading reviews and how they were, how, you know, convenient and knowledgeable they were, I chose Allen's. Now, when I first walked in, Mr. Rick greeted me, okay? I'm guessing he's the owner. I'm pretty sure he's the owner, but he's like, how can I help you? What do you need? And I told me I'm looking for a lawnmower, some equipment. And then he, he showed me to um, another employee they had there, which was Vidal. Now, Vidal is very knowledgeable on all his equipment there. Now, if you asked him about blowers, if you asked him about lawnmowers, if you asked him about, I mean, spreaders and sprayers, seed, I'm guessing. <laughs> but I mean, most of all the stuff I went in to ask there for, I don't want to you know, tell you guys what I went in there for yet, because I want to show you what I got. He knew everything. Now he told me, okay, you're looking at this, this is what it has. You're looking at that, this is what it has, this is what. He, he, he didn't basically give me a chance to say like, you know, ask questions. Like he didn't say like, I didn't be, I was able to ask him like, oh, so why is this machine good? No, I told him, hey, I'm looking for so-and-so. And he's like, okay, it's over here. Let me show you. And he'd be like, look, before you get, before you say anything, this is what this motor has. This is what it does. This is how it acts on the, you know, on the turf. You, you could do this, you could do that. You could, very, very knowledgeable. And all I'm gonna say is he went above and beyond when he was selling me this stuff. I mean, he gave me products, he gave me stuff for the, the equipment I, I bought and he told me how to use it. He demonstrated it for me even though I know how to use it. I mean, they treat you like basically you're starting over again. I mean, I know how to use a lot more, but he, he still showed me like, this is how you do it. You know, I know how to use this equipment. He's like, this is how you use it. And I like that. You know, when you go and buy something, and they take the time to show you how to use it, how to start it, how that's 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 key. I mean, he you can tell when I went in there, he wasn't just about, you know let me make a sale. No, he asked me what I wanted. And then after I told him what I wanted, he's like, okay, what are you, know, what are you gonna be using it for? You know, what are your goals? You know, what do you have? You know, I'm telling him what, I, what grass type I have and you know, what my goals are with it, how often I'm gonna be using it. And then I told him, he, he didn't say, oh, well, that's too much lawnmower for you. You don't need a commercial grade lawnmower for a residential. He didn't say that because I know what I wanted. He knew what I want. He showed me other lawnmowers, but he's not trying to push stuff off, you know, on me. You know, he wanted to let me know and educate me with what I was in there looking for because I've made up my mind. And that's what I like. I don't like someone saying, well, you don't get that. Get this or get this. And no, he told me this is what this has. He respected my decision, what I wanted, and he gave me all the knowledge I needed for it. And if I had extra questions, he told me. Of course, they have all the little items I needed there, but they did order it for me. But you know what? They threw stuff in there for me. They took care of me. And all I want to say is, Mr. Rick treated me with absolute respect. The sales guy, Vidal, treated me with tons of respect and threw a bunch of knowledge at me and i will also say the assemblers i mean they're awesome i mean they put all my machines together they cleaned them they started them i mean they put the gas in there the oils 
and when they brought him out to me shook my hand said you know thank you for shopping with us and that was Tony and Al um, those are good guys I mean sometimes people bring stuff out and they don't like acknowledge you to take it back because they feel like you know they just servicing equipment and they go on with it no they came out helped me to my car you need help sir loading it you know Tony Al Vidal Mr. Rick all super guys all super cool guys there I mean when you want to go there and feel comfortable and feel like you got a friend that's how I felt when I went there for the very first time I will go back I'll continue to shop there that will be my shop from now on I will continue to feel like I'm a part of their family there because of the way they treated me um, yeah so I just want to tell you guys if you're looking for a shop and you're in you know the Norwalk Whitty area visit Allen's lawnmower they do equipment service parts it's 12194 Firestone Boulevard Norwalk California 90650 their phone number is 562-868-5615 and they do carry a lot of brands Echo, Toro, I mean you can see it here, Kawasaki, they have everything there. They even have robotic lawnmowers that will cut your lawn, but I don't like them because I, don't, I like to cut my own lawn. But before you guys get out, oh, why are you giving us all this information and all this stuff on this video? And all I'm telling you is this is a local video for people in the area that are looking to maintain their house, their grass and stuff like that on their own. And this is what they like to do on the weekends and they don't have a shop. And maybe they have a cheap lawnmower or something that they bought from you know a box store or something and they want to upgrade and they're just researching they still happen to come across my video that is a shop to check out it's worth checking out I mean they had a lot of products available and if they didn't have it they can get it most of the time they had everything there I mean everything you want is there the only thing that they didn't have there were my little adapters and accessories that you'll see right now but check it out I mean it's worth it this is not a paid you know sponsor video they didn't tell me to do it I just when I have the opportunity to make a video I'm gonna make a video so don't think oh you know we worked out a deal to get stuff and you know you can try this as long as you mention no they didn't give me anything they didn't tell me if you try you know if you try this out just rate us and and make a video no I'm making this video I told them I was gonna make it for them when I was walking away to stay tuned for it and whenever something gives me an opportunity to make a video and throw out there to you know knowledge you guys with stuff I'm gonna do it so I didn't get paid for this this is not a sponsored video just so you guys know now let's get to the equipment sorry for talking so much you guys I know some of you are already thumbs down in my video but here's the equipment Ta -da! There it is, the Honda Commercial Line Lawnmower. That is the HRC 216K3HXA, right there. So this is what I decided to pick up. This one, commercial grade of course, way better than what I had. 21 inch steel mowing deck, manual fuel shut off, Muffler heat protector, Virgo active handle, shaft drive type, uh, reinforced steel handles. You can um, bag or mulch. It has an adapter that comes with the lawnmower, which you just take the bag off, insert the uh, mulching plastic piece. That is. but it goes in there and basically sets it up for mulching um has a front bumper here what else does it have has the edgar kit twin blade mulching of course it also has the gx 160 engine in it and starting type would obviously be um, recoil doesn't have the electric start key um, didn't want that um, fuel capacity, I think it's uh, 0.37 gallons right here. Um, bigger filter here. Um, the other one has that side mount, a little bit smaller. 
Uh, this one does have a ground speed of 2.1 to 4 miles per hour. The mowing height max you can go on this, which is 8 settings, is 4 inches I believe, and the lowest setting will be 3 fourths. Um, every single wheel here does have ball bearings, which is nice because it rolls really smooth, I will tell you that, because it has the precision ball bearing system. has a 9 inch wheels on it. And I think with nothing in this lawnmower, I think it weighs about 125 pounds, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not too sure. I was looking at a bunch of different models. But yes, this is the lawnmower I chose to go with. I watched all the reviews and not too many of the HRC line. Um, there were a lot of the residential line, which has the control lever here for the bagging or mulching system, um, which was nice feature that I was considering, but I did want something really strong and really durable. So I decided to go with this line here, the HRC. The hydrostatic drive system you can see there I'm oh, sorry that it's a little dark it's not belt so it won't slip make the noise my other craftsman mower was belt and it was like it's scream like an alternator belt um, this does have the dual blade technology which is nice double cut every cut nice rubber on here it's very solid I mean come on steel all metal man this is very solid too you know what I like and I mess with this handle here you see that I like lift that up there's no give there there's no play there is no play at all right here and I think it's because of this like triangle system here very supportive my lawnmower if you lift it up to like turn around or pull down you know to flip it around this thing is like wobbly it's not cool this is this is like planted to the ground if this you know this was a go car this thing would be a very solid right um, what else can I say you guys just walk around and just show you guys right here so blade control with the clutch so what's nice is um, if most of you're you know cutting the lawn and you need to empty the bag or something you let go of the trigger system here on your regular lawnmowers guess what happens everything turns off that's your traditional little more stuff. What does this do? Ooh, it idles. It says, it purrs. It purrs really nice. And you could empty out the bag, put it back, throw that baby into gear, turn on the blades again and start cutting. And the benefit of that, which, you know, I didn't really think about it until Vidal told me from Allen S'mores is that saves the life of the recoil system. I mean, it does other things too, but the life of the recoil system, because you're not constantly pulling, 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 and and it's just, you know, less starting up. So, less meaning issues, which is good. Um, what else can I say? Very powerful engine. Um, it's gonna get through everything, but Yep, this is the lawnmower I chose to go with. For, for some of you, if you're looking to get something very nice, um, I know it is residential, but I am cutting my house because I'm treating it like commercial. High grade, good cutting. I don't want cheap stuff. I want it to last. When you buy something, just, you know, 
go big or go home. You know, like Alan Haynes says, the long carry night, you gotta dominate. I mean, if you guys watch that guy, he's funny. Um, Grass Daddy also, Ryan Noor. I mean, I watch all those guys, Connor Ward. All you guys from the, you know, the long game, you guys know who I'm talking about. I mean, if it wasn't for them, and see how pretty their grass was, I probably wouldn't have got motivated. But let me show you guys what else I got and show you, you know, more details of every little piece I got so you guys can see. You know, maybe this might be something you guys might want to get. So let's get to the next item. Sorry, 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 sorry. A few things I forgot to mention was, um, Wait, I did mention it. The motor is a GX uh, GXV 160. Uh, cutting width is about 21 inches. Is 21 inches. Also has cruise control, which is hydrostatic. And the starter is a uh, recoil, which I told you guys. But the choke system and the throttle control are manual. Um, and one thing I just double checked was that the dry weight of the mower is 123 and the operating weight is 127 pounds so there you go sorry i didn't know it off the top of my head but um i did do a lot of reading and researching and yep so that is it and the cutting height is three fourths lowest setting and four inches just want to confirm that um has the twin blade micro cut system on it so there you go. There you guys have it. Um, it's a really, really beautiful lot more. Just love staring at it. Okay, I don't want to bore you guys, so you guys don't hit that thumbs down. I'm gonna give you guys some more equipment. Whoa, <laughs> look at that, you guys. This is the four-stroke Versa Attach system. It's the Honda UMC 435, so 35 cc's. Look at that. Wait. Oh my God. Where's the rest of it? <gasps> I broke it already. Just kidding. This is the verse attached system. So what does that mean? That means I could put different attachments. Now, when you guys seen my weeder, that's pretty much all I had was a weeder. And let me tell you, I needed more than that. So that's why I got this system. It's because I'm gonna be able to put whatever I want at the end, as long as Honda offers it. And the best thing about it is, it is a four stroke system. So that means no adding oil to the gas. Yep, which is awesome, right? Because the one thing I hate is having to carry two gas containers around with me to go fill up at the gas station and then bring them back home. No, I just take a big old jug, fill it up and fill up my equipment. So now let me tell you, the attachments I did get for this system, I did get the trimmer, I got the edger, I got the pruner, I got the cultivator and the hedge trimmer. So let me tell you, when it comes to trimming my trees I'll be able to use the hedger or the shrubs start using the hedger I got the long one they make it they do make a short one and then when it comes to cutting down the limbs and stuff to the tree that I don't like to nice and shape it up I got the pruner which is chain drive shoots out oil all that good stuff which Vidal gave me oil for the pruner and he gave me a uh, hedge cleaner, blade cleaner. And he also gave me, what is it, what is it? <sighs> Something else. I'll get back to that. I also got the edger to clean up those lines around the lawn. And I got the weeder and then the cultivator. What I like about that is my garden bed that I have that I'm working on my backyard right now, but don't mind it. I got a garden bed going around all around the property um i'm gonna have certain plants there but what i do like the option of having the 
called what's just a tiller is I'll be able to go into that till it all up put in some new plants just change up in between the main plants I'm gonna have there maybe put some annuals in there or maybe if I get bored of a plant pull it out you know till it up put something new in there but um I did bring out the booklet this time to show you guys um, what I basically got and the reason why is because some of the stuff I had to order so I did get this right here which is a trimmer SSST I got the edger I got the pruner and I got the edge trimmer the cultivator if I'm saying that right which I just call it tiller and I did not get the blower now I opt up for something nicer I did want to replace my ergo with something commercial grade something overkill because I like good stuff I like the good good stuff but yes um, I'm gonna be able to put all these attachments onto this system right here so what does that mean more garage space I don't have to go and buy all these little things and different you know handhelds but um, this is the one I'm talking about the pruner to cut the limbs stuff like that uh, oil goes in there shoots it out cuts nice and clean edger clean up the yard you know give that nice edging trimmer you know get it up between tight places weed it this one right here they make a short and a long uh, this is the SSHHS they do make a SSHHL I did get the L the longer one um, oh and I did get a uh, an extension I think it's a 39 inch extension so it will add to here so an extra 39 and then plus the lung for the high shrubs the trees and stuff like that excuse me you know cut the limbs all that good stuff but uh yeah uh, let me just show you the catalog um, right here you know that'll be the edger that'll be the weeder like I said no gas it's all solar just kidding uh, no gas and oil mixing. I'm kidding you guys. I'm kidding. I'm kidding um, They have that Versaline system so You know goes into there lock it down put all these you want whatever you want the blower does blow pretty good um, But I didn't want it uh, if You guys want to get that you can get that uh, Here's some more stuff heavy-duty four-stroke system Honda's light Honda's lightest um, They do have other stuff here but I didn't get any of that because I'm not going to be clearing bushes and stuff like that. But yes, so that is what I got you guys. Um, that will be the upgrade to my lawn care of my residential cleanup here. And I will say I'm happy with what I went with. Um, because when you go with Honda, it's very smart. <laughs> um, Honda makes really good motors. I love my Honda Ruckus. If you guys know, I have a Honda Ruckus that I'm fixing up right now. And that motor is never giving me any issues. And I don't do nothing to it because I'm going to do a swap on it. But I want to see how far this motor can take me without doing anything to it. No maintenance, no nothing. And I ride it every day. But anyways, back to the lawn stuff, you guys. Lawnmower and VersaTouch system. Remember, if you are in the area of Santa Ana or Norwalk, just try to just check the shop out. Allen's lawnmowers, you don't even have to mention me. Don't say Raw sent me, I saw Raw's video. You don't have to. If you want to, you can tell them. They know who I am. But if you mention me or not, I'm not going to get paid. It's not a sponsored video. They're not going to give me no more, no special promotions or no more goodies. I mean, they did give me some little goodies there because I did, you know, buy a lot of stuff. And they're really good people. They took care of me. And, you know, I felt very welcome there. You are in the area. Check them out. I hope this video helped some of you. I will put this stuff to work right now because I've been dying to use it on my yard. I do need to cut the front yard. 
I try to cut it either one or twice a, once or twice a week. The back I'm still working on a little bit. Um, I do have Kentucky bluegrass and Bermuda grass in the back. In the front, I have Kentucky bluegrass and tall fescue that I'm trying to push the tall fescue out. Um, I had a little bit of Bermuda in the front. I don't know where that came from. Probably my backyard, obviously, but front yard, I want a high cut. Backyard, I want a short cut for the kids, the playground I'm gonna be putting back here. Um, it's gonna have a lot of traffic in the back and the Bermuda is very tough. And then the Kentucky, you know, grow in and basically give a year round of just greenness back here. Um, it's been working well, but I have had a lot of trampling on of the yard, which I'm working on here. I don't want to show you. It looks really bad because I did get this beautiful patio installed with the fans and stuff. Um, just stay tuned. I'm getting my house worked on. It's a complete makeover. Um, it's going to be very very beautiful um you know one thing you want to do is take care of your family have a nice home to live in you know you only live once enjoy it stay tuned i'm going to try to attach my gopro to this or something give you some good clean cutting footage um i'll try to use the edger edge it up and then i'll get a cut in and maybe i'll give you guys some good content if this video ends here Unfortunately, I guess my GoPro or something didn't work and I couldn't get anything for you guys But one thing I will mention is this thing boom, Starts up really good and now I got my lady looking at me laughing at me because I'm talking to the camera holding it up looking really dumb Hola <laughs> Yeah, so let me get to that and um, Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this footage. Hopefully it helps some of you out there if you're looking to get some updated equipment, you know where to go and stay tuned. Peace.